chapter at Phoenix. Thank you. Thank you. We're really honored. Yeah, here at uh, Phoenix Multisports, it's just uh, what it, it kind of punctuates what we've seen in other communities, and that is that that, that local solutions work best. Uh, what I heard from folks here is the word over and over and over was family. I just feel like this is family, and those are the folks that are supporting me and helping me so much. So these are these are incredible individuals. The story is so inspiring. In terms of the Medicaid question, what, what we're trying to do is to make certain that every single American has access to a health coverage policy that works for them. For some people, that, that is indeed Medicaid. For others who are, who are able-bodied working uh, uh, adults, uh, then, then those individuals might best be served with either employer-sponsored coverage or through a private personal health coverage plan that would also uh, assist them if they had a challenge with addiction. Well, the Opioid Commission uh, was, was put in place by the President because he, he cares so deeply about this challenge. Uh, and we've been going across the country uh, to try to figure out where the best practices are, what actually works uh, uh, at, the, at the request of the President to address this issue. And it's one of our top three clinical priorities uh, at, at the Department. Um, and and uh, the, the report that came out yesterday from the Commission is an interim report. They'll come out with a final report this fall. We're still going through it. Uh, and, and we believe that the, the, uh, the message that they're giving that this is an emergency is, is in fact true. Now, whether that requires an emergency declaration uh, is another question because there are all sorts of things that either tie your hands or, or make it so that you may not be able to do the kinds of things that you would otherwise be able to do. But uh, we, we, uh, it, it, it's a top priority. You, you, you likely know the statistics because you've looked them up, but 2015 is the last year that we have statistics. 52,000 overdose deaths in this nation in one year. Uh, that, that, that's unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable.